Hey everyone, Karuna with the Zone Heat here, and I am super excited to have you here for this training. Trust me, if you're an entrepreneur or an aspiring, aspiring entrepreneur and you want to tell your story, you're definitely here at the right place at the right time. So let's go ahead and get started. Slides. Okay, so today you're here because you're interested in learning about writing a book, and I'd like to teach you about writing a business book. So if you've written a business book, congratulations. If you're interested in writing a book, either way, let me tell you that it already makes you an entrepreneur. So the key is how to leverage this book to make multiple streams of income, to build pat to build massive income, and let's and you want to do it fast. So let's go right. Why is my slide not working? Okay, technical glitch, technical glitch. Okay, there we go. So the first question I want to ask you is, and what you've done in your life, is it giving you what you want? And hopefully you're here because you understand that you've been through a journey, that you've been through some stuff, and you want to help empower other people, but you're also saying, you know what? I know that there's something more for me. And hopefully if that's you, well, and congratulations on taking the first step because, guys, listen, this is bigger than just saying that you have a book, that you've written a book. It's so much bigger than this. Um, and a lot of people, you know, try to keep things to the surface. But what I want you to understand that being an author has been, has been a massive opportunity for me because it's changed my life in multiple ways. So... Now, I want you to take a look at these people right here. These are just some of the examples, and I have tons and tons of examples of people that I can tell you about that have leveraged their books. But when you look at the likes of uh, Lisa Nichols, Steve Harvey, and T.D. Jakes, um, and I picked them for a reason specifically, specifically because I know for a fact that they came out with books way earlier in their career, um, before people really knew who they were. Like Steve Harvey, yes, we knew him. You know, he had, had done some comedy and he was on a TV show, but no one, you know, recognized him as being the relationship guy. Then you have Lisa Nichols, and she wrote No Matter What, and then she was offered the opportunity to be on The Secret. And then there's the likes of T.D. Jakes, and he wrote Women That Are Loose. And he tells how he used his own money that he was saving up in order to buy a house um, that he actually used then to launch his book. And they were able to sell hundreds and hundreds and thousands of this book, which ultimately, when you look at it, now he has a whole conference center um, centered around women that are loose. So these books are truly books to help launch careers in the space of education. And that's why I just love these particular books, because I like to share. Um, but guys, we have books for days. In fact, we have books from people that are teaching on things like selling online um, to people that teach on spirituality. There's people who teach on finding love. We have books for days on how to. And so now, for who is this training for? So if you're a small traditional business owner, that means you sell a product, you own a product or a service, or maybe you have um, white labeled something or something, whatever it might be, you might be a network marketer. <clears throat> For me, that's where I was because I wanted to build a business in a space where people didn't see me as a professional. Also, if you're a corporate climber, uh, we have many of our students who have written books about how to grow in their field. And because of that, they're having companies that are having them come to speak while they're still at their corporate job. And then you just might be like, well, Charisma, I don't really fit into any of those brackets. But I'm here, I want to tell my story, I want um, to tell what I've been through, then I put you in the bracket of a dreamer because that means you still have big dreams. And that's the type of person that I love to be connected to. So if if you're in if so if any of these categories fit you guys, definitely you're in a, you're in the right right space and place. Okay? So while another thing I want want you to think about is imagine what your life would be like if you could increase your income by two to five times of what you make today or what if you never had to worry about not being seen or noticed or knowing where to start with building your presence. See, that's where I was because for me guys, naturally I'm extroverted in situations. I'm not the best at networking and that 
Um, yeah. And that was not working for me with network marketing. So I had to figure out a way to connect with people. But what if you wanted to make an extra 5000 to 10000 per month by leveraging your life's journey through a book and building multiple streams of income? Now, I know many of you are saying, now, how can I do that charisma? Well, um, that is why I'm here, and that is what I'm, we're going to learn today. So let me tell you a little bit about who I am. Now, so you can know a little bit more, you know, I'm going to share a little something, something with you. Is that okay? That's a little important. So I graduated from Metropolitan College with a bachelor's and master's and a math, yeah, bachelor's and a bachelor's and a master's in human services. I thought that once I graduated, I would take over the nonprofit world and change um, everything and be this girl on fire that I would be earning all this money. Well, good, a good amount of money because it's not profit. We don't make that much, but we do some great things, right? And that life would be great. Unfortunately, things didn't turn out the way I, I like. So after seven years with my former employer, I ended up laid off with educational debt and some other bills because they were paying for my education at the time. So when they laid me off, that didn't, they didn't keep paying. Uh -huh. When I finally did land a job interview and I went on many, they wanted, most companies wanted me, but they told me flat out, um, that I cost them too much and that they couldn't afford me, which really sounded even crazier. So I went through my savings inch by inch. It was tough. I've tried many opportunities and I thought that this would maybe be my life. And so for a moment I had even stopped dreaming, but that's when a life shift occurred. It was a major moment in my life and I would like to call it a paradigm shift. Like I said, I had tried many different things. Um, I've had a travel business. I've had a tax preparation business. I've had a cleaning company. Um, I've tried my hand at real estate. I mean, I, well, I still am a licensed life insurance agent. Um, I even did insurance auditing. Um, I had a coffee shop. That's where real. That's just where life just became complacent. Nothing was really working for me, but I tell you, had it not been for me trying all these things, um, I would not be where I am today. So never feel bad of, um, for what I like to call a tripreneur because that was my title. I was the queen of, tri of trying it all. I was Miss Queen Tripreneur. So I like to say this is where my life changed. I like to say that this was my paradigm shift. This is me um, on BronxNet. TV back in 2015 and you know if you're on television you have a platform of thousands um, and so getting into this space you know prior I had like I said tried it all so leading up to this point I had experienced a series a series of losses one right after the other my grandmother passed away then my grandfather passed away and then the following year was my aunt and then another aunt and then my mom, lastly, guys, passed away, and um, it was just like something moment after moment, year after year. I just, you know, once you start to get, get yourself together, it was just something else. Um, but when I started coming into my season, right before my mom had got sick and passed away from an infection in her bone marrow, our last conversation, she said, I see you successful. And I mean, literally, that was, the last thing she said before she hung up the phone and that was our last conversation see my mom was in ICU after that moment for three months to the day upon being admitted she had never spoken another word she was barely conscious what I did realize in that process is that every moment of my life counted watching my mom go through this I knew that if my life had ever changed for the worse that I wanted to live knowing that I had done everything I could do when I could do it that life was worthwhile living. So with everything um, up to losing everyone that was important, I realized that I was just as, I was just as important, if not more, and I knew I owed it to myself to be my absolute best. And from that point, I realized that I had to help um, others to see their same, to see themselves in the same way. So from that point, I decided I was going to change how I did things. I decided to participate in a multi-level marketing company, took the product and actually turned it into a grab-and-go food business and between the day-to-day -day business with the upfront customers and the back-end business in the company, I did very well. I even had a business international and I had, uh, which I had never set a, 
one toe in. Um, I had uh, one significant point at this event that I was able to speak at, and I was able to bring my children who had never seen me in this fashion. And it was poignant because it would, um, it wound up being very emotional, you know, and a moving speaking engagement because they had witnessed my experience, but they had never understood the impact that I had until I cre until that point when um, I created that moment. So now let me tell you a little bit about myself, or a little bit more about my success, I should, I should say. Um, it's not just the fact that I was in this company, because people will think that, it's a, that my, success is, eh, my success is specific to this company or product, but let me tell you, timing is everything. But also, I, what I continuously started to do was spend money on myself, and I don't mean on clothes and shoes and cars and things, well, yes, I did do some of that. Most of my money was spent on personal self-development. I was going to conferences. I was investing in coaches, workshops, programs, books, tools. Over the past five years, I think I've spent upward of $100,000 on personal development. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. Your income is a direct reflection of how much money you invest into your mind. Not how much money you invest into your clothes, not how much money you invest into your cars. You know, what's the craziest thing is, although I did buy some of these nice things, no one has once ever asked me about my car other than what I've posted online or my home. Now, I've been asked about, you know, some things, but not that stuff. You know, people wouldn't think to ask me about that. They just knew, you know, by the way that I spoke, the, you know, with the confidence that I had, that I was telling them that I was actually telling them about something that was real. So what I want you to understand is that when people run around talking about, you know, you got to fake it until you make it, that doesn't mean that you go too broke trying to impress um, other people that are never going to see what you have. It means that you have to believe that it has already happened for you. By, but the key is, that you are investing into how you are developing yourself. And what I did was use disposable income. I didn't spend money on going out, going out to nightclubs. Instead of, instead of that, guys, I literally got laser. I mean, laser focused on everything that was extra. I cut down on my spending. I cut down on everything extra that would, um, so that I could take that extra money and put it into new programs. Um, new coaching programs, into new software programs, into new workshops. That's what I did constantly. In fact, I just bought a program today. So this picture right here is a very significant um, reflection because it's a representation of me all the way. I don't know if any of you can relate. So while I'm building this business in network marketing and I'm making an incredible income, multiple figures, one of the top earners, I wasn't happy. I was going through the motions you know, of, of being in the business, of pretending like I was happy. Everyone is telling me you have to chase the money. You got to chase the paper. You have to chase the dream. Um, I don't know if any of you can relate, but I was getting up every day and putting on this smile, putting on this fake energy. Um, but deep down inside, I just wasn't happy with myself. I was not happy because I knew that I was called to do something bigger, that, you know, I had more of a purpose. Now, I don't know if many of you can relate, but many of you hopefully are here because you're in, you're in that space. Um, you're like, for real charisma, something has got to give, something has got to change. This is not what I've been called to do. So I started to ask God, you know, we, he and I have a very close relationship that's very one-on-one. -on -one. I started to sit and be quiet and ask God, what is my purpose? Um, what am I here for? What are my gifts? What is it that I have to contribute to this world? And that's where everything started for me. See, let me tell you, I love this quote. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. See, guys, many of us are not asking what is our gift, what is our purpose. We're not even seeking information out. We are focusing on what other people are doing. We're focusing on what other people have. We're looking left. We're looking right instead of focusing in on ourselves. And I want to encourage you, if you don't get anything from this before you write your book, you got to develop the right mindset. Because I promise you, if you don't know the purpose of why you're, going, why you're writing this book, if you don't know who this book is going to impact, 
you're going to give up. You're going to give up. You're going to start writing this book. Something's going to happen. Life is going to happen. It's going to seem difficult. You're just going to give right on up. And I don't want you to do that. So how did Show Your Success start? Well, how did we start educating on book writing and all the things that we educate on? Well, it happened um, was that back in 2010, Ms. Taria Vaughn, who is the founder of Show Your Success, began with a launch and learn event because she didn't like going to networking events either. So <coughs> while she was doing one, uh, lunch and learns, she was, utilize, she was utilizing this um, app or this web, this web space called Meetup, meetup.com, to build her networking events to up to about 400 people for this first particular group, um, starting out with the Show Your Success group. This business um, did not start overnight. It took several years. But however, we have now over 350 students across the nation who are expanding worldwide. Now, Taria, like myself, began, a self, began as a self-published author of more than 10 plus books. My first book was Earning Simple, and her first book was A Vision of Freedom. These book, these both of our works have helped us both catapult um, our own personal success, but it also also helped catapult show your success to an expansion and leverage for exposure. Now, due to the lack of respect that network marketing usually receives um, from those that are not familiar with having um, having interest in the business to help, the book has helped um, me leverage my opportunities. Um, and bring credibility to the work that I do because no longer that I need to lead um, when meeting people that I'm a network marketer, but based on the book, I now teach um, success principles for building wealth. So even though network marketing is a space that you have more people who are millionaires being birthed in the industry, it's still a space that people really don't respect. So I decided to write a book on some success principles. So when people ask what I do, I could lead um, with what I do, it didn't have to deal with network marketing. Um, I wrote my book, Earning Simple in 30 Days, back in 2015. Now I'm getting phone calls from people who are in churches, nonprofits, colleges, uh, women's programs. No one once asked me, how long have you been free from corporate America, or how long have you been living the life of your dreams? No one asked me what else it is of anything that I do you know, to that matter. The fact that I was an author and teaching how to live the life of your dreams, people wanted me to come and speak to their people. And I was using this book to actually recruit people into my network marketing business until the day I was offered a chance to do a workshop. Honestly, to this day, I don't know if I had ever gotten, if I had never gotten the opportunity to do the workshop, I don't know if I would have moved into teaching or it may have just taken me a little bit longer to get to where I am. However. I stopped doing network marketing for the simple reason with the business that I was building. I didn't want it to become a conflict of interest because I have students who are in multiple different companies. I didn't want to have a conflict of interest with other businesses or network marketing companies while actively building my own brand. That is why I decided to make a decision to go full time with educating entrepreneurs and business owners on how to build their business through a book. All right. So since then, Show Your Success has been featured on. Um, many news forums, we've been on CBS, Fox, NBC, just to name a few, and it's continuing to grow over and over again. For people who want to know um, what the Show Your Success brand is all about and the Show Your Success workshop, we help to educate entrepreneurs to stand out in their business. Since 2014, we have traveled to um, the country doing, we have traveled throughout the country doing multiple workshops, and they have truly been a blessing, and I'm telling you, I can't wait to see more expansion now and as we grow we even have educators and i'm proud to be one we have five educators including myself who are traveling in the world educating business owners on how to write books all um all these incredible things now all of us we have angie renee um dorothy travis shakita murda angela pusher and myself and we each have our own individual businesses as well and we all educate in different areas but we are also seen um we also have seen what show your success yeah, that. we have also seen what the show your success brand is all about um and we've partnered with our educators this is fantastic because it allows us to expand our mission together beginning last year um show your success traveled to ghana 
and we launched the Show Your Success Worldwide nonprofit organization where we're teaching children how to become authors as well as bring awareness to child trafficking and child labor. Now, Show Your Success believes that our children um, right now are in a state of confusion. And when you look at things that are going on in the world, if um, the jobs aren't available now, imagine what it's going to be like in 10, 15, 20 years from now, right? And so the key is now showing them to think outside the box, showing them how to build their own business. So that is what the Show Your Success Worldwide is all about. We have a big mission. It's, in to, it's to impact the lives um, of 10 million men, women, and children in business. Now, our results, we have more than 350 students. We recently launched 200 products and have more than 200 students. And in the next 90 days, that's um, going, that are ne in the next 90 days that are actually going to join with us, we're going to have massive growth with massive number of authors being launched because it is not hard to do, and we would like to show you how you can do it too. Now, let's, my slide isn't working. Okay, oh. Now, here are some of the people who are part of our campus and we've gone, and we have gone out there and gotten their books done as well, okay? Now, the reason you're here today is to write a book. But when you leave here, I need you to set a specific goal because I love this quote by Napoleon Hill. He says, set your mind on, def on a definite goal and observe how quickly the world stands aside to let you pass. That's powerful. So the reason why we have been able to grow to over 350 students in, the, in over the past few years is because we have been laser focused. We have not allowed ourselves to be distracted because it can be very easy to be distracted, especially in this world today, guys. Um, so guys, you need to set specific goals. Um, and start to do the things that are going, to, you know, start seeing so that you can start seeing some amazing things happen for you. Now, God, here's another testimonial from um, Levette and Young Chi. They had this um, So Gone challenge. I don't know if you heard about it. It was online. You know, Monica the singer has this song So Gone from back in the day, and then people started doing this rap challenge. Well. They did it, and they woke up in the morning. They had over a million people who viewed their video, and Lovett understood the power of social media. And um, what made social media so dope is you can go from being unknown to an overnight celebrity. It's happening left and right over and over. So Lovett said she needed to leverage this. So what she did was in three days, just in three days following our system, she and her 15-year-old son wrote a book, Family Brand, Nine Principles, and tips to branding family and business and launched their book to show that it was coming out and do you know she had speaking opportunities coaching opportunities left and right this young lady has leveraged this book and is building a massive business All right now we have multiple ways to teach you on how to profit from your book um, well one way that we teach is with pre-selling technique um, she pre-sold more than 75 books at $25 a pop before the book was even finished. Guys, 75 books times 20, you do the math. I'm not mad at the coinage right there. It's all about coins. It's all about the coins. So here's another testimonial. We have James and Natasha Roach. Nine, um, nine of being students have written, nine of us, uh, nine of our students have written books. Over five of their books were electronic magazines. Um, three as well started doing, you know, three, yeah, they had three, electro they, three electronic magazines, I believe it was, as well as they started doing their own workshops and seminars because they had so many people that they were like, oh, thank God, how are you going, you know, what are we going to do with all of this? We, you know, we need to know the information. So now they have been able to take what they've learned and leverage and build a massive um, empire, which is amazing so now this is the deal I'm not going to walk you through this I'm now going to walk you through the system we're using to get great results um, please understand that my results are not typical because the average person who attends my trainings will not get the results because the average person takes no action however I'm happy to share with you free exactly what's working for me um, just like it has for 350 plus of our students as well as 200 of our new students um, that are joining us within the next 90 days 
we are going to show you how it's done. Also, I want you to know that this is not, guys, this is not a get rich, um, get rich quick scheme, people. Um, you, or it's not a work at home biz app. Um, people for people or entrepreneur um, amateurs excuse me let me clarify when I say work at home because I work from home too I'm I'm literally home right now I'm talking about people who work from home who do little work just clean up um, this is for the person who's saying I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired and I know I have a bigger purpose in life and I'm ready to walk in that purpose so that's who this training is for now well why do people why people don't take action well let me tell you they like to gain the pleasure and to avoid the pain right so people also what they like to do more is to avoid the pain and gain the pleasure than the perception um that means in some cases perception is not real or well it's just it's well perceived value the perception of the pain or pleasure is stronger than their reality when it boils down to it there's a reason most people don't take action. It's because of fear. <laughs> That's a cute one. That's awesome right there. So, well, today I want you to put your foot upon, I want you to put your foot upon your neck of fear of criticism by reaching a decision not to worry about what other people think, do, or say about you. Because guess what, guys? This is what, this is what none of your business is in. This, you know, what other people do is none of their business anyway. I'm going to, um, get serious here, you got to get laser focused and get rid of the fear. Um, it's the fear that's holding you handicapped. Uh, why are you not taking action and typically it all boils down to something. There's a reason that is centered around the fear of why you're not taking action. So secret number one, why every person should write and build a business. First of all, here are some business statistics. There are 28.8 million small businesses in the United States. About two thirds of the business survive for two years um, in business. All of the businesses will survive, um, excuse me, half of the businesses survive only five years. One third will survive 10 years. 103, people, 103 million people in network marketing worldwide, 20 million in the US. Less than 5% of network marketers ever make full-time income. Why, these why are these statistics so significant? Well, first of all, there's 28.8 million. That's registered, and I don't know about you, but I know for a very long time, I didn't have no license. I was just out here getting that paper. Do you um, understand what I'm saying? You do understand what I'm saying, right? You know. When you start a business, nobody's thinking about getting licensed. You just need to make the business function. It's not as you get it to the, to the stream of things, then you start to think about all of that. So think about how many people are out here in the world doing in the same position as well. So it's way more than 28.8 million people. But the truth is this. If everybody is doing business right, and they're saying that there are more people becoming entrepreneurs than ever before, um, any other time in the world of entrepreneurs are being and more and more entrepreneurs are being birthed. What is allowing people to want to do business with you? What is going to allow someone to do business with you? Because you separated yourself. And I don't want to say writing a book is the end all to be all, but writing a book does open doors. And I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. So Here's some myths about becoming an author. You're going to see some books throughout this presentation. These are people who have gone through the system mastery training who are part of our campus who are leveraging our books to build multiple streams of income. Just um, so that you know, some of the people believe that you must be a certified expert. Um, well, let me tell you something. Uh, Taria wrote a book about depression. And if you want to know more, you can find her video on YouTube where she talks about her journey going through depression and the video is about close to over 100,000 views, I want to say. However, type in her name in depression and it should come up. But she wrote a book after um, getting over depression to help um, anyone else get over it as well. But because of that book, um, it put her in a state, it put her actually in an opportunity 
to be on a panel with some doctors. And she, I know she wasn't familiar with the jargon, um, with any of the medical jargon, but it, it um, how can I put it? Um, I don't believe, you know, I don't kind of put anybody's business out there, but uh, yeah, not being familiar with the medical jargon, you know, she wasn't taking any medication, the depression wasn't like that. However, she was um, on a panel and after the panel, the people were lining up not to speak with the doctors, but to speak with Taria directly because of her journey. was Her journey was actually real and relatable. Um, see, that's what people want. They want to know how you did what you did. They want to, you know, they want something, they want information that's tangible, that's relatable, somebody that they can actually, you know, have a, have a, a moment with. So the fact that you wrote a book already makes you an author, um, excuse me, not an author, but a certified author. It makes you certified. You don't need any type of credentials. You don't need any type of licensing. You know, also people think that it takes too long to write a book. Well, we have a simple process. Um, it's a real simple system. It's 30 days to write a book. Um, Levette was actually able to follow our system and write a book in three days. Uh, we have individuals who are sitting down because they see the value in being an author. They understand what it's going to do for their life and their family. Listen, people are writing their book in a day. Um, there should be no excuse that you can't sit, you know, that you can't do it either. You know, people will sit all day on Saturday and watch TV and you watch your favorite football program. Well, you can record it and you can watch the replay. So if you can sit down and watch something for hours that has no contributing um, contribution to your bottom line, you, alloc you can then allocate some time to write your own book. And then some people will think that it has to be perfectly written. Well, let me tell you that it's not, you know, a buffet. I always like to use the comparison of the buffet story. You see, when you go to a buffet, there's always this one person who piles all this food on their plate as if they can't go back as many times as they want. I want you to think of your book like this. Um, this is just a little bit of a tasting. It's a snippet. Um, you don't need to put everything in your book. The purpose of your book is to is the ability to open doors so that you can get more value, so that others can get more value because you're giving more value. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay. So, next slide. Um, why do you need to write a book? Well, it opens doors to other opportunities. Guys, I tell you, people love hiring authors. If you want to be on the radio, if you want to be on the TV, if you want to be at major events, I'm telling you, write a book. People love love to write a book. People love it. All right. There is something about being an author that is very attractive. Then you can leverage it to so many other opportunities and things. I have clients who are speaking at colleges, like the time um, this college, one of our speakers or one of our authors. Um, wanted to speak at a college, but they didn't have the they didn't have the budget in their speaking fees. However, um, what they will do is purchase books because it looks better, it's like a better investment. Colleges will op are very much open to buying books. Heck, it's a college, you know, and then they can write you a check for the book. And yes, many um, of you may may not be, you know, you may not see it as a huge profit from the college buying your book. But you have to look at the leveraging and, you know, the leverage that you're gaining and all the people who will be getting a copy of your book. So the book is a built, is helping you build your network. It's better than a business card. I've given away multiple books to people um, who put together conferences and who are influencers. It has, excuse me. Um, it has helped me build an opportunity to speak at other events and or just to even be able to attend the book so a conference can cost a lot of money the ability to leverage a twenty dollar book or a 250 dollar ticket speaks volumes let me show you guys i sent this book to an influencer in exchange for my twenty dollar book that i charged twenty dollars for we won't talk about the cost of the book i get a ticket to an event you know that's be, you know that's a that's a coaching moment so a book leaves a legacy for your family, people. They, um, 
So they say that they want to be remembered. Well, the best way to be remembered is to write a book. The um, best thing about a book is that it will always follow and be a part of your family. Your family can sell the book long after you're gone. Take Napoleon Hill, for instance. Think and Grow Rich is by far the number one um, best book. It's also known as the Business Bible. It was written in 1937 by Napoleon Hill. Um, it's been promoted as a self-development, self-improvement book. It remains the biggest seller of the Napoleon Hill book since his death in 1970. Um, the, the Napoleon Hill Foundation is actually centered around this and it continues to leverage um, over and over and over again. And this is, guys, this is extreme. This, now, this is what you call legacy. Okay. So it sets you apart from, from others in the industry. Um, it's an instant separator. One of my vision partners collaborated on a book that we put out called the MLM book along with four other individuals um, network in the networking field. The book was around multi-level marketing. Those who wanted to stand out by being um, an author and stand out in the industry, one of the young ladies has been able to leverage the book because most of the people who are not in MLM that are not in network marketing, if, um, if you put the two together, most people don't even know what what that is they think it's just some type of marketing so she has used the book to get into major events she has used the book to get herself in front of other people she's just telling she's just selling the book people are buying the book because they want to they want to they want to have a better life you know so guys what would you like some you no know, who wouldn't like some additional streams of income and a book does that um and I cannot wait because the next section I have to show you, I have two students who are building full-time income, not from their primary business, but how they actually leverage their books. Now, I would like to um, talk, talk to you about the three, talk about three top topic, oh gosh, these T's, three top topic people love to read about. So that's relationships, health and wellness, Weight loss, and if you can, you know, if you had to arrange your book around that, that is awesome. But you don't have to. A lot of people want to know, well, what are some of the ideas, and what can I write about? Well, these are just some of the things. You know, in relationships, everybody wants to find love. I have a young lady who um, does weight loss. I suggested to her she write about, you know, lose lose ten pounds and get your man. And guys, let me tell you. So many times, people are afraid to have a niche. A niche. Um, they actually think that having a niche means you have to, you know, have less people to you have less people to touch. But honestly, a niche gives you a target market, so you can make more money. Um, then you can have more people who are specifically reaching out to you. I look to encourage people to write along these lines that tie into their business. Now, another thing that separates us is. Um, out there in the businesses I'm not going and I'm going to be honest there are a lot of people out here teaching you on how to write books yes um, and you can learn this stuff online yes um, but what separates us <coughs> excuse me <coughs> well what separates a lot of us from other guys people is that number one we don't want to just teach you on how to write a book there's nothing worse than being an author that nobody knows about um, do you understand that I, you, you do understand? Um, I hope you can understand what I'm saying. 90% of most people that want to write a book never will write a book. So the fact that you put yourself in the 3% bracket, I need people to know about you. Um, we don't want your book to be stacked up in your garage. You see this picture here. We don't want you to become garage certified. Um, we don't want you to be garage certified, we want you to be coin qualified. I like this. We don't want you to be garage certified. We want you to be coin cert qualified. Coin certified, coin qualified, not garage qualified. And when I say coins, guys, understand I am talking dollars. So why do most authors um, don't succeed? First of all, they write about what they want to write about and not what their audience wants to know about. You need to stop being emotional. You need to you need to um, want to write about what you think or feel. You need to not write about what you think feels good or what sounds good to you, guys. You have to write about what your reader wants. Um, I'm sorry about that. And then when you find what you, what that is, 
when you that's when you become successful. So look at Steve Harvey. When he wrote that book and what it has done for him and his career. I mean, because people want to know about love and relationships. People want to know how to get love, how to tap into the minds of the opposite sex. Um, another way people don't succeed is that they don't market their book. My book is in Barnes and Noble. My book is in the library. And so people think that you don't have to market their book. Um, guys, that is so not true. Well, while I'm, you know, it does separate you from others in the industry, there's still a lot of authors out there. And so what you don't do is mark, you know, when you don't market your book, you know, that means that there's no one buying it and the bookstores are not going to market it for you. So the one thing that we teach you is, you know, how does that, how to separate you from all of that? You know, are you just going to have with you a book and show, you know, a, a few things on how to make money? We want to show you how to get your money back from your book, how to make it perform so that it you so that it succeeds, that you succeed. This really goes um, to the person who is ready to take this information and really run with it. Um, now, a lot of you really never take time to put um, purpose, you know, understand the purpose of their book. They don't know why. They just want to write a book. They don't just, they just, you just don't write a book. So I had one client, he said, you know, I look to have this big goal next year. I want to sell a million copies. So I said, okay, tell me why do you want to sell a million, a million copies? And he had a specific reason why he needed to sell that many copies. So he understood, I got to get this done. But then the second we go to, to see the million, here's the game plan. See a plan for his book. And because he has a plan, he was able to move forward and take massive action. See, many people never plan out the reason why. Um, did they, you know, did you write the book because you want to be a coach? Did you write the book because you want to share your product or your service? Um, why did you write the book? You have to, you know, make a plan, guys. Now, next thing authors don't succeed. Why they don't succeed is because over they over overcomplicate the process. We have a simple system. We teach you how to build the foundation of your book and then how to build the content of your book. We teach you multiple systems, but because it's that simple, people think, ah, uh, it can't be that simple. Guys, I tell you, every single book that we have ever written, with the exception of our collaboration books, because that's a little different, every single book that we have ever written we follow the same exact system, and it has allowed us, guys, it has a literally um, gets books done in weeks, some in days. It does not take a long time. So this system, this process is so simple, it will blow you away. Now, remember when it boils down to it, people will buy from you if and only if you can serve them. People must know that what it is you offer them will help them in some way. This is why people are going to read your book. Um, you have to offer them something that's going to help them, that's going to take them to another world or a fantasy. Um, if you're writing a fiction book or if you're writing a how-to book, which, um, which is what we teach, it's going to teach them something specific. Um, you have to keep it simple. Keep it simple, sweetie. Kiss. Keep it simple, sweetie. Most people will focus on what they want versus what their audience wants. Don't do that, guys. It's all about your audience. It, you know, it's all about what the audience wants. And if you can provide them with what, they're, what they want, they're going to buy from you over and over and over again. Many people take, you know, never take the time to find out who they serve and what their audience wants. Now, Here's a testimonial. Um, here we have Kitten and Atia Gray. They co-wrote Rock the Crown 101, The History and Art of Head Wrapping. And we were even able to leverage this book by doing wrapping parties, showing women of all nationalities of how to wrap their hair, how to stand out. Listen, this book, I promise you guys, was amazing. Um, then Atia Gray came out, sorry about that. Then Atia Gray came out with her own book, The Road to College Success, a freshman's guide. Um, the book 
was done, you know, the book is not done, pardon me, um, but her mother has promoted the book and posted it on her timeline and within an hour someone contacted her saying that they had over 600 kids at a tia um, had to come and speak to them. See, people are looking for people, people are looking for speakers, people are looking for persons who have the information and the more niche you can be, the more value be, you become in the process. Okay. So next testimonial, here's another testimonial and she writes, I consider myself to be an overachiever. However, many thought that, um, many thought that writing a book was really long-term goal. I then, in less than 30 days, my book was complete and I am an author. Since becoming an author, my streams of income have already increased. I have booked three speaking engagements, hired two new clients in one week. I uh, stop saying stop saying you want to write a book and get your get your goals and get your t excuse me get your tools to get it done. Angie C J Sims author. All right, guys, that's something. So get it done. Now, secret number two: How can we make at least three streams of income with your business book? This is going to blow you away. I promise you guys. Okay, now turn your phones off. I know you've been looking at your phones while. I'm, while paying attention um, or well calling yourself paying attention I promise you guys you don't want to miss this turn your turn your phones down um, you don't want to miss this so see I told you this is what separates us and makes us different here God has given me a gift he's shown me how to take what you do and turn it into a book and help you build it into multiple streams of income now my first student of course she did hair and she was tired of being in the hair industry. So she decided that she wanted to write a book and teach people on how to market their business to get repeat customers. Now, as a hairstylist or anyone providing a service in the hair, hair industry, typically in the service-based industry, when the economy is affected, that is the one thing that people cut off. So she wanted to teach how to keep your customers to keep coming back even in the bad, bad economic times. So how to get that repeat customer. So she wrote a book about how to do that in the first step. Her first workshop was entitled after her book. She had a two hour workshop where 10 people showed up to the event on a Monday because most salons are closed on Mondays. She sold five books at her workshop, two people enrolled in her program in her, and in her program at the time she was teaching one-on-one um, -on -one and marketing on social media. She also taught on specific things she did on following up and then also how to get new clients um so that she was she has her three things that she is teaching on she's selling it for 297 then she increased her price to 697 so her first event she did 694 dollars from there she then decided that once every monday since then she does two workshops every other monday and now has a team that reaches out to salons all over the state and in nearby states telling them how you know she's selling this program she sends them a free copy of her book um, she says that she wants to come and do a free workshop teaching their stylists how to get repeat customers now as a salon owner they want to know that you have the money to pay that booth rent and then it's going to get paid every week so she comes in she does these workshop programs she, um, and the program is six ninety seven for everybody who is buying her book. Guys, she has taken her income from thirty three thousand in a year to over six figures. She made herself a gold mine. I'm telling you guys, this is awesome. When you think about it here, as a hairstylist, you know there you have more hairstylists being birthed every single day. So also, I had a student who was also in the cleaning industry. And she was uncertain about doing workshops. So we said, no problem. We'll take, um, we'll, 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 what we'll do is take you, take you, you know, teach you how to make multiple streams of income, and, you know, turn, turn your business into multiple. So she wrote this book on how to keep your house green until, how to keep your house clean until the next green. Say that five times. Um, so this is what she would do. When someone would get their home cleaned, she would give away five books to each client. And in the book would be a coupon with one um, hour off of their three 
off a three hour minimum cleaning service. So every client she serves has a house that's typically about a half a million at the minimum and generally what happens, people with half a million dollar homes typically have other friends who have half a million dollar homes. And so that is her client base. So she says her, you know, hey, take these five books, give them away, and I'll also give you another hour off of your next service. One thing I know about rich and wealthy people is that they like a discount just as much as the next person. That is why they are rich and wealthy. They don't like to throw away money. She gave away five books and serviced them and then gave away another five books. That's 10 books in total. Now, at the time, she's only doing six houses and, and everything else she's outsourcing to her other cleaners because she now has a cleaning team. And this is what is so awesome. In her book, in her How to Keep Your House Green, she created her own product line. Think about it. Don't believe any cleaning company I have ever used um, has sold me any of their cleaning products after they cleaned my house. So, no. Heck, I don't even... I don't even believe when I've gone to the hairdresser that I've received any hair products for my hair. But still, um, you need to keep your house clean until the next visit, right? So what she did was sell products. Pardon me. So what she did was sell products that she created, even down to the paper towels. She had a relationship with the district with the distributor on how to get everything wholesale. So she created an entire cleaning packet for her customers. She not only is she making money from her cleaning services, she's now also has a product and has a comp and has other companies asking her how she built her business the way she builds it. She has also been able to turn businesses her business into a franchise where franchise where her franchisees have to buy all their cleaning supplies from her. A little bit more than the cost also her books um, and they are duplicating her business and guys when she was just in this space that was only a profit of three thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars a month work a total of 24 hours everyone else doing the same thing that doing that same job for for a month guys I don't know about you but that makes sense and separates her so now she's getting hired because she's educating and she's an author and she has this book so as a book takes you from having services and goods to having information in your industry information in your industry is one of the most thriving industries let's see let me see let me see pull some nickel on So here we are on Amazon. Let's see how these books, I'm going to type, let's see, how to scrap. Let's see, scrapbooking. Scrapbooking, over 90,000 results on how to scrapbook, okay? Do you see this? Does this sound like an industry that people want to know about? Let's look at how to get married. Oops. How to get married, people say, how to get divorced. Marriage. Marriage has over 100,000, over 100,000, over 100,000 hits, results. Okay? Let's see how to get. How to get divorced. So people want to know how, you know, people are writing about this as well. Look, guys, there's no shortage of information on divorce. Okay. And then let's look up how to clean. There we go. See, guys? Books, 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 books. 
how to organize. Over 4,000 results and tons of books on getting organized. So this book's on how to be happy. Guys, I don't care what industry you're in. Um, we've all gone through something. We all have a journey. We all have a journey. And you're missing out on a million dollar journeys. Okay. That's my slide stopped. All right. So I don't like to say that you've missed out on a million dollar journey. Some of us may have just not figured it out figured it out until we came to this training. But you have a you do have a million dollar experiences, journeys that people want to know, whether it's about finances, whether it's about health and wellness, your relationships, um, your spirit, even your spirituality. People just want to know what you know. So according to Forbes, in 2014, the information business did over 50 billion in sales. In 2015, it doubled. Why? Because we have more baby boomers retiring. Um, we have people who are having to step out and learn how to succeed because what's going on in the world, you have guys, um, more people dealing with stuff. Guys, there are people who want to know how to do stuff and, you know, how to do it and so you want to be able to put yourself in a position where you can have multiple streams of income this is the thing it's necessary to know because this point you should be excited by this point you should have multiple ideas now this is where we come into play that is where we want to help you hone in give you the best idea. It's necessary for you to know that everybody is not going to see your vision. People will say, you know, people, you know, what do you call it? Hating. But I don't think that's always the case. Plus, I don't like to use, I don't know what's going on over here. Um, I don't want to say that I don't like to, I don't like to use that word hating. It's just that everyone is not going to see your journey. They haven't lived it. They don't understand it. They don't know what you've been through. <clears throat> so people um, are not going to unnecessarily have been through what you've been through. And so they may not see what you see. So it's necessary to know that when you share your vision, you understand who you're sharing it with. Don't go around. Don't go running around on social media sharing your vision to everybody. You have people who will pray for you. And then you have people that will pray on you. So in the end of the day, be very conscious and mindful about it. It's necessary to know that some of the closest people you may, that you have may not agree or, or see your, your vision. It's necessary to know that um, when you get off this webinar, when you get off this training, life is going to happen to you. You are going to get distracted. It's necessary to know that you're going to, um, that you're going to have success. It's a, it's a, it's not supposed to be easy, but if you have somebody that you can go through with you, that is where you are, that's where you are and going to take your business to the next level. Um, some people get this information. They're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it done. Um, I want to encourage you. you no, know, I want to encourage you to find some people, whether it's a coach, an accountability partner, whether you join um, our university, Make sure you connect yourself with people who are having success, okay? It's very important. Now, where is the wealthiest place in the world? I'm gonna let you think about that for a second. Well, if you have an answer, that's the graveyard. Um, I can't tell you how many people I personally know. It seems like the older we get, the more we see this. People that I personally know who have moved on to the next life but left this world without the value that they experienced in their life without the information, even if reflect um, reflecting on my grandmother and all that she dealt with coming up in the years, just how things have changed before her eyes. And if we could have put that into some sort of information of a how-to book to teach other people, think about how much history is being lost because we're not sharing um, how we want to do, you know, do things or or teach others how to get it done. 
the things that um, we are waiting for, to, you know, we're constantly waiting for tomorrow until things are, you know, we find a better moment. Guys, let me tell you, something is not, something, um, nothing is not something, excuse me, that nothing is guaranteed. So you need to stop making the excuses and take action and just get it done. Okay. Now, here's another testimonial of Sharon Porter. Um, I'm absolutely grateful I signed up to be a part of the Tereus Avant System Mastery. I enrolled in the book, um, Writing Quadrant, and have gained so much information on how to complete my book. Because of the System Mastery, I had confidence to be a contributing author in five collaboration projects, and then she came out with her own collab called Next in, Leads, Next in Line to Lead, the voice of an assistant principal. Guys, she was sharing how... Um, when she came out with this book, she was saying that she has been able to leverage it, not just within her state, but all across the country, sharing with other people in other schools who want to know how to build a better school and principals want to know how to be better principals. Okay. Here's another testimonial from Orlando Hayes. He says, since partnering with Vinnie Dorman and the System Mastery Program, I have authored and published my first book, spearheading my second book, which is a collaborative book with 10 amazing individuals and releasing in spring 2017. So this has come out since then. He's been featured in a magazine, featured in an interview um, on career development, spoke on several events. Doors are opening up for Orlando left and right. His book is about advancing your career, inside, inside career tips, all job seekers should know. He has companies that are bringing him out to come and speak to their companies. So, guys, again, we're not going to teach you how to be garage qualified. Um, and just to have to stress this, because we meet a lot of authors, and a lot of times they don't know how to get their books off the ground. The book is not succeeding. It's not building multiple streams of income. It's cute and all to say that you sold 2,000 books, but then after you sold the 2,000 books, then what's next? Um, I think anyone who has sold, you know, sold 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 books to me, I'm like, that's all you did? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, oh, okay, if only they knew. Okay, just to give you an example, you sold 1,000 books, you're then working with us to teach you how to build multiple streams of income. Even if only 10% of those 1,000 people invested into your product because we have you know what we call a success funnel we have you we have your intro product your core product and your premium let's say your premium I will put out my calculator real quick okay so we can see all the money that's being left on the table and so let's get all excited about this book that they wrote. So we want to show you how to get multiple streams of income. So we have a thousand books at 10%. That's a hundred people. Let's say your premium product is only $250. That's an extra $25,000 that you missed out because your focus was just on to sell the book. No sir, no ma'am. The book is the door opener. We want to show you how to get multiple streams of income. So secret number three, write your book in 30 days and leverage it. So steps to writing your book is, so I'm going to show you the steps for writing the book. So what I want you to do is, what I want to do is challenge you. So if you're still watching this video, I congratulate you. Um, you see, in today's world, people are so easily distracted. So many people will watch this and then they'll get, and they'll never get to the end. And so it's sad because there are about, this is about where things, where we're going to really show you how, where the real money is made. But if you're still here, I, I give you a challenge. First of all, go to my Facebook page, um, and that's facebook.com slash Charisma Dizoni like the page, and then tag me in a post. I'm so happy to announce that I have a new book coming out in 2018. I'm working with and say at Charisma Dizoni Writes, okay? 
If you don't want to tag me in it, it's okay. It's okay. I won't, you know, get all bothered by it. But I would like you to tag me because I want to see the results. Just post it. If it doesn't come out this year, or if it's the next year, who cares? Remember, what I told you, stop worrying about what other people are saying. That is the only reason why you will not post it is because in your mind, you are wondering what are people going to say? I want you to do it. I want you to see how many people are going to get so excited for you. Listen, try it. You have nothing to lose. Um, even to this day, the System Mastery has published hundreds of books, over 350 students in the System Mastery University, and we have over 200 new authors. And still, when I post this, people still get excited, and I even post it myself. Um, so the next thing I want you to do is plan it. Um, you have to plan your book. As a result of writing this book, what happens for you as well as what happens for the person who reads it? The next step is then to write your book. In our program, we have a very simple system, even if you are not a writer. But we have a system that shows you how to build the foundation of your book and write it for success. And then we title it, and it comes after the write for a reason. So many times, people get hung up on titles. Many of us make, and will make all the excuses of writing a book because we haven't gotten the title yet. Um, if you look at the book we have put um, out, are very simple. Fear, depression, seven steps to this, how to, make seg set, excuse me, how to make six figures from public speaking. Guys, we don't like to overcomplicate the process. We like to keep it simple because many people are just that simple. You know, we have... Um, have you ever been to an event and someone says, I teach people how to dig down deep and find their inner selves and live the true passion and live your true life so that they no longer have that inner person that is keeping them from digging deep to the next level. They're sitting in there like crickets, like what? Basically, you don't know what that person really means. Um, when they, all they needed to say was, I teach people how to believe in themselves or I teach how to eliminate fear. See, we've gotten to, you know, we've gotten to a place where people are trying to one-up everybody. Uh, we think the deeper we get, the better it is. No, simplicity is the key. People need simple stuff. You want to be, keep it so simple. People want to know that you're teaching, you know, what you're teaching them. Um, they want to know that they're, you know, that people are going to listen. Um, listen, many of you are going going to learn how to fund your own book when you announce it. You, we will have several of our students announcing their books, making hundreds of dollars in, the, in a matter of a day. Then we're also going to show you how to publish it. Okay? So let me ask you a question. If I could help you with all of this right now, like you could literally get this done, we could work one-on-one, -on -one. I could take you through the process, and you could have your book done. What if I could work directly, what if you could work directly with me, with my educators? We could show you exactly what, you know, has been done to help other people write books. Not just, not just books, but books that are producing and getting profit. If you could make an extra $5,000, $10,000, $2,000 per month, what would it, that be like? Would you like that? Because if you do, um, what would it? What what is it that you're here for? At least I hope that's why you're here, right? So, let me tell you a little bit about our system, our mastery. Ma I, let me you know, mas system mastery university, and at the same time, I'm still going to give you some more tips, okay? So it's a five-step process. The first step we teach you is how to prepare. It's a step-by-step -step process on how to write your book, create the content, create the foundation, all of those different things. That's going to take, a, take you about 30 days. It also comes with group coaching calls, um, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. See, we don't want you to leave, leave you hanging to the point that you will have to send us um, an outline of your book and then we go over your work. Okay, so this is what we need. This is what we should do. Then you write your book. Okay, then when, excuse me, then when your book is done, then you have your content. 
Um, and then we have a coaching call to make sure that we have everything we need to have in your book. So it's designed to set you up for success. Now, here are eight things that your book should do or be. Number one, make you multiple streams of income. If you're just making money off of a book, off of book sales, you're not doing something right. No, we need to be making multiple streams of income. Number two, redirect your readers to your site. This is where um, we see a lot of people make mistakes because they don't redirect their people to their site because they don't understand the power of the redirect. Guys, on average, most people do not read past chapter one. A lot of people like audio books, and we can get into that also, but a lot of people like having the paper. And it's something that you can deliver and it gives people to, to give people at events. But the question is, how are you redirecting just in case they don't read the whole book? It opens doors for you as a speaker. You may um, be saying that you don't want to be a speaker, but most money is made to the person who learns how to leverage their voice. And the reason most people have a problem with speaking is due to the fear. And that is because they're not prepared. Well guys, we actually have a course about speaking as well. You should be, um, your book should be less than 100 pages. Really between 100 to 150 pages is a, is a good goal to have, but we don't need to have 300, 40, 300 pages. People don't want to read those thick books. They wanna have something simple to read. They wanna be able to read quickly and get it done and get through it. People, you know, get their get their book, they just wanna get it done and there's nothing more rewarding than getting a message from someone and them saying, oh wow, I read the book and I was able to get it done in a day. Oh, thank God, it was amazing, right? So, number six, number six. It leaves a legacy for you and your family. Number seven, you have, um, and you have a cover that sells. People out here self-publishing and, and are not getting coached on creating a proper cover. The printer is not going to tell you that your cover isn't good. That's why you need to have someone who shows you exactly what to do and it sh you know how it should also be able to increase your bottom line for your primary business, okay? So, not a typer you can actually voice talk your book. The key is to get the foundation written out. So when you create the foundation of your book, that's going to help you create the content for your book. There are two different ways to get this done. Use tools that will allow you to talk and it will capture your voice and send it to the text. But right now we're doing a collaboration book where we're doing it um, in interview style and we're taking that interview even if it's your own book, you can do it the same exact way, right? And we're t taking that interview and having it transcribed, but the key is all in the foundation first, all right? So now, publish your book. This is, um, the next is our, is, is our PFR program. So step number two. Um, so in step number two is how we get your book published professional as well as placed into every place that books are sold online. Guys, we're going to teach you how to save hundreds and thousands of dollars. Self-publishing. Guys, self-publishing, there are three major reasons why you would go to a major publishing company like $5,000 publishing company. Like, I don't have time here. Here's my book. I'm done with the book, you, you know, you've typed up your book, you did it in 30 days, you just want to send it, and you want them to send it back to you ready to go to print with the book cover and everything on it. That's why you might want to go to a publishing company or you want to be in a specific store like the um, bookstores at, <coughs> at the airports. You might want to be in those types of bookstores or you want to be in CVS or something like that. Well, you have to you know, be with a specific kind of publishing company in order for that to happen. However, this is the deal. Just because you are in those stores doesn't mean you're going, you know, that they're going to market your book. In fact, 
you still have to market your book. You have to get out there, roll up your sleeves, because if that book doesn't sell in the store, they're going to keep carrying, you know, they're not going to keep carrying it. And the store is going to send the books back to the publishing company. And that is your responsibility to promote your book or because they're cutting you a check. Now, let me tell you something. How many publishing companies are cutting check? You know, there aren't many publishing companies that are cutting checks out here. Um, how can I put it? Very far and few between um, have in a, you know, have, have you, you have to be like an A, in, what is it, A list, an A list actor or a B list for them to cut you a check. But also, you have to know that when that happens, they also own the rights to your book. So even if they're cutting you a check for $5,000, they own 10%, 20%, 30% of your book. You have to look at the long haul. Is it worth that $5,000 or is it worth me to go ahead, self-publish, keep all my profits and royalties minus the printing cost of my book, right? So, so you reached out to a publishing company. Um, just so, you know, actually I reached out to a publishing company just so I could see. Now with this particular publishing company, um, all I wanted them to do was edit the book and format it. I already had a book cover, so when I asked them, they told me that their pricing just for editing and formatting, that their price was $2,500. Now, edit means checking the punctuation, grammar, typos, things like that. And once you're done with that, um, you have your book resized so that it's, if your type standard sheet is eight by eight, by, <clears throat> uh, if your type standard sheet that is eight and a half by eleven, then you have to get it resized to six by nine or five by eight and a half, or whatever the book size is that it's going to be. So then they create the chapters, titles, pages, page numbers, the table of contents. Um, they wanted to charge me twenty five hundred. That's crazy, right? Twenty five hundred just to do that. There are also a lot of companies that, um, that do what we do, and I have gone to their workshops. They will help you write your book, edit, format, create book covers, design um, marketing material, and show you how to pre-sell your book um, for your profits. But guess what? They're act what they actually charge. $24,000 for their program. Now, some people will ask us, is it worth it? Um, let me tell you, one thing that people will put value on um, is their money, but people don't put enough value on their time. People don't spend enough time on things that are going to increase their bottom line. So, if it's worth it, then yes, it's worth it. If it takes $24,000 to get it done, then go ahead and do it. Okay, but guess what? We don't charge $24,000. Now, when we talk about formatting publishing, you need to know what kind of font to use, what kind of paper to use. You need to know, you know what you want your book to look like. That is also why this young lady wound up spending $5,000 because she didn't know any better. You know, how your chapters start, um, where you want your page numbers, um, what size do you want your book? You need top quality, non-pixelated book cover. That book covers determines whether or not people are going to buy your book in the first place. You know, that's what's going to cause them to pick up the book. And if you don't know anything about this, this is where you will end up spending countless months and dollars trying to figure this stuff out. And that's what separates us from everyone else. Okay, so step number three is profiting. Guys, we are going to teach you how to pre-sell up to 100 books before you even have your books printed, as well as 10 ways because we have been adding more ways to profit with your book. And this is in theory, but based on actual concepts that have worked with our students. Step number four is performance. Guys, we're going to teach you how to hook your target audience. First of all, you need to know how to identify your target audience but how to hook them with the right message and create a winning title, subtitle, that compels your audience to buy your book, okay? 
So here's a testimonial from Jasmine Zapata who wrote, Taria is so amazing. I have so many, so many amazing opportunities linking up, um, linking up doors, oh, excuse me, lining up doors and opening uh, results on her fearless leadership and training. In two weeks, I go to speak at my first four-figure paid speaking event, and it's all thanks to Taria's guidance and leadership. I am so excited to be walking in my purpose. Thank you, Taria. Um, this is just the beginning. And guys, she is leveraging her book, and people are paying her multiple four figures. In fact, she just got paid $2,500 for two hours. Not only did she get paid, she was also able to sell her book there, multiple streams of income. Remember, you must know your, who your target market is. You need to know what challenges they have. You need to be able to solve their challenges. And now, you need to get in front of them, all right? So, and that is where the promotion comes in. We teach you on how to promote yourself. We want you to promote yourself like a rock star. That is what, what we will have your client, that's what will have, that's what will take your client to the next step to working with you. Um, 10 ways in how to promote your business. In fact, we let you show, you know, show, we, in fact, let me show you how this is done, all right? And this is called the open door secret. So what we do is identify influencers who are either connected to you or in your target market, or who can help connect you to the, your ideal client, customers through specific target markets. So let's say you know someone who does a conference and they're doing, um, they have this big conference, right? And so you you see it on, you know, and what you want to do is get on Amazon Prime. We teach you how to upload your book to Amazon. Um, now your book is uploaded to Amazon. That means you can go on Amazon, buy your book. So let me show you. You go online. Let me go online. I'm already on Amazon. So you go online and you click your book so you go on And you can send your book to this person in two days. I don't want to put it in my cart, but you can click and send your book. Oh, send your book to this person in two days. No. Now, when they get your book, it comes in a beautiful Amazon box with the Amazon swoosh on it. Now, let me tell you guys, this has a 100% open ratio. And there you, there you can include a nice little gift card, a nice little link to a video that you can record right with your phone. You know, pick up your phone, you record your video, and then you can add a little card with a note so it has a link to the video and says, hey, um, or on the video you say, hey, um, I see that you got my book. Um, I want to work with you. I'm going to call you in a couple of days so that we can talk about what it is that I have in mind. I think this is something we should do. Let me tell you, these people will answer the phone for you, but the key is follow up, follow up, follow up, and to close the deal. Now, you know you have, you know, you have to understand, now the purpose of sending this book are that you're looking to speak on their stage, you're looking to volunteer, you're looking to partner, you're looking to come and maybe have a program, of course, or a service that you want to sell to their network. You want to sell um, to the persons that are partnering with them. There are all types of ways that you can get, you know, get to the paper. All right. Oops. All right. So the next testimonial that we have here is Brian Bailey, excuse me, Brian Keith Bailey, who wrote buying my first home as a military vet veteran. He was so awesome about this that he had to figure out um, how to leverage his income as a real estate agent because it's a sell a house and then you get paid, right? So, let me fix this. So now he has this book 
and he can start doing conferences, lectures. Um, he's getting paid to just talk about his process. But then he got con he got contacted by the military who offered him a position. They actually offered to create a position for him so that he could educate veterans as well as active military on how to get a house because people don't know about the benefits. So the military is actually, literally, trying to create a position for him um, because of the book that he created that showed him as an expert. So next testimony that we have here is Eliza Mitchell. Eliza Mitchell. She is one of our co-authors of the MLM book. She's also a part-time. She's also part of the um, multiple streams of income. She also has her own book coming out, and she's also part of a book we have coming out. You have no, you have no idea of the hell that I've been through. Well, she was in a room of 40 women at a networking event, and she had the opportunity to speak for about 15 minutes. After that, she actually made $200 just for selling her book at the event. And her book is, a, is about network marketing, multi-level marketing, and she shared her experience in the industry. So the purpose of her book back then was so that she could connect with those and talk to them about getting in the, in the space. All right. So the System Mastery University is all about teaching you how to write a book in 30 days or less and make multiple streams of income. Now, there's five P's to book writing success. Just prepare your book. You will be assigned your own team for coaching, editing, formatting, publishing, and marketing packages. We use a million dollar online system that we've partnered with to help you keep on track of your tasks to hit your goals. We're also going to teach you how to profit from your book. We have more than 20 ways to show you how to profit. Some of the ways are as soon as the first day that you get into the program so that you can start make, so that you can start making money today. And then we show you how to publish. We will publish your book for you. Um, once the manuscript is done, we'll send it, you know, you send it to us. We'll take care of it. Um, promote your book. We will assist you in promoting your book. Have, um, we have over 20 ways that you can successfully promote the book. And then there's get your book to perform. This goes hand in hand with preparation of the book. We don't want you to have a book that is garage qualified, all right? Uh, we're going to show you how to truly get your book to perform for success so that it expands your network and your bottom line. Now, guys, this is a no-brainer um, of the offer summary. There, this is a five-module self-study course. We prepare, we publish, we profit, we perform, and then there's promote. There's 12 months access to a bi-monthly group with coaching calls, strategy session calls, private Facebook community. The total for this values at 7,500. Okay, now bonuses. You also get bonuses because we like bonuses. With the bonus comes the one-on-one -on -one coaching. You're going to get a one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. We don't just leave you hanging. We don't want you to just get the training online. We really want to help you walk through this process. We want to make sure that when you when your book gets launched, when it's out there, that you have the availability to have a successful launch and make multiple streams of income, and that's a $300 value. You're also going to get the USP Success Funnel training. This is prior to you even starting. We want to make sure that you're able to identify who your market is, who you're going to be helping, how are you going to be able to serve them, and this is so important. Most people don't even do this. This is why they get a book and it becomes garage qualified. So then we're going to also teach you about building multiple streams of income with your success funnel, and that's a value of $297. Now, guys, it gets better, though. All right, the baby is too cute. Also, you're going to be invited to our three-day intensive conference in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, August 31st through September 2nd. And guys, we have LaPortia Renee who will be in the house. If you don't know, she was on America's, um, America's Top Idol. America's, uh, oh God, America's Top Idol. I'm confused. Show, but you know, Idol, okay? LaPortia Ray. If you don't know, Google her. Now, this isn't for... This isn't one of those massive conferences, but it is extremely intimate. We're going to do a live sellathon 
um, at, the, at our last major conference, we did a sellathon also, and we did over $2,000 in sales. It was super exciting, and people were so pumped up um, that their belief level just went to a whole nother level, all right? We want... Um, we went over social media, we talked about identifying their talk, putting it all together, we talked about putting um, together an incredible book. This is all available to you. Listen, we understand that sometimes we fall off the wagon, life is going to happen, but however, we just need to be around people who are doing some amazing things and that can increase your spirits, lift you up and put you in a great space, a headspace, right? So this is a three-day intensive conference, it takes place in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, and it's going to be August 31st, and you're going to be invited to that, and it doesn't cost you a thing. It's free. It's part of the package, all right? So we have a way for you to get it all locked in today, okay? Then you can also get to bring in a guest with you, and that's $197. This investment for the conference, though, guys, is $997 if you are not a part of our campus, all right? So also, we're going to help you create a social media template um, for your book to launch, guys. This is so important. We want to make sure you're going to have a template that is going to stand out. This is a template that was created right here for Tia's book launch that actually got the, gave her the opportunity to be able to speak at that school. And we also have another bonus where we're going to teach you the 30 day to launch. We just don't leave you hanging Having a book is cute and incredible, but what is it, you know, but what is dope is making the coinage, all right? We like that money. We don't want you to have this you know, little book signing. We don't want you to do book tours, and there's nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong, but we believe that your book should be an event. Your book signing should be an experience, and if you're going to do a book signing or a book launch, it should build multiple streams of income from that event. So we teach you what to do 30 days prior, three weeks prior. Also, we align it so you can become a top seller on Amazon because people also want to have that title. So this is important, guys. This is a $1,297 value, okay? We're also going to help you create an amazing book trail, all right? So take a look at this. All right, so that there is a $297 value, which we're going to custom make for you with your music. You can do a voiceover. You can add pictures. Guys, you can, the book trailer is phenomenal. You can do whatever you like. Okay, it doesn't move. Let's go on to the next. All right, so once again, there is a five-module self-study course. We prepare, we publish, we profit, and we promote. This 12-month, um, bi-monthly Group, you have so you have access to 12 months of this bi-monthly group coaching calls. We're going to do a strategy session calls, private Facebook community, bonus one-on-one -on -one coaching with your team, bonus USP and success funnel training. Um, there's going to be bonus show your success three-day conference. There's the bonus professional social social media for your book launch. There's also the bonus 30-day launch to your program and then there's the bonus book trailer guys this is a value over ten thousand dollars this is amazing right so now th this is the deal you get money or you get excuses i don't know about you but i don't have time for excuses 
I'm trying to increase the bottom line and a book is going to do that. But the longer you wait, I'm going to wait to the next, I'm going to wait to the next month. No guys, don't pull, you know, don't put off today what you can take care, don't put off for tomorrow what you can take care of today, all right? So enroll today. When you enroll today, this is the additional bonus. See, we don't do this normally. See, in fact, if you come to our company alone just to get your book formatted and edited, the book cover starting price is just $1,500, all right? Guys, enroll today. You're watching this video today. We have a way to track who's watching this video. And if you make a decision to get started today, all right? If you enroll today on the same day that you are watching this video, you're going to be able to take advantage. Listen, take advantage of the additional bonuses of getting your book edited, formatted, and the cover, no additional charge. This is over $4,000 in bonuses that we're going to give you just for taking action. So the question is, do you get started now or do you get started later? No, honey, enroll now. Go down and click on that button. Go get yourself started so that you can get to the next level of success. Trust me, we have techniques that are going to show you today how you can start earning money today, all right, with the book. So if you are ready, to learn to do what you need to do. Take care of it today. We have a technique which we're going to show you. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, will I have enough time to take this course? Um, well, this, this, you know, what is this deal? Um, you have been there the entire time. It's been about, what, now an hour and 27 minutes, I believe, that you've been on this video with me, guys. In that time, you could have had three chapters done in your book. Okay, so you do have enough time. You absolutely do. In fact, you are not financially where you want to be. If your business is not where you want it to be, then guys, you have to make time. Guys, you have to stop making excuses about time. Time is the most valuable asset we have. The time to be able to change our lives. You absolutely do okay can i afford this course well let me tell you something like i said over the past five years i've invested over a hundred thousand dollars i went to work i went to workshops um where people were literally investing twenty four thousand dollars into a course so the deal is this if you're not where you want to be financially don't be in the same financial position the next year you have to be willing to take a risk you got to be willing to step out on faith finance it however you got to do it get enrolled in this course I am a guaranteed success if anyone tells you you get started with the program we we guarantee you you're going to have success no because getting started is the only step taking action is the next step now if you're willing to follow the steps you're willing to follow what we show you you're willing to follow our coaching Guys, this is no way you're going to get, you know, there's no way you're going to get this book done building multiple streams of income. But the key is not just starting, it's also taking action. Some people say, oh, I just can't do all that stuff, you know, on my own without investing. Yeah, like this young lady who spent $5,000 trying to figure out and got scammed. Or we have had some people it has taken them an additional six, seven, eight months to get it done. I know some people that have been working on their book for the past three years. Yes, but because there is a lot of information out there. But guys, this is it. Don't have someone who's specifically assigned to work with you just trying to write a book. Um, by the, just what I'm, Let's be clear here. You know, don't have someone who's specifically assigned to work without not just writing a book, but building a business and getting you in front of the right audiences. Do you understand what I'm saying? Find someone who's going to work the process with you, okay? You have to get in front of the right audiences. It can take time, but instead of wasting valuable time, you don't want to invest into an incredible program that's going to show you how to get that done. So, 
I want you to, you know, know this. Know that life is going to happen when you have a dream. I always share this stuff like this because many of us are going to get started and then talk to someone and they don't dream what we dream. So they go and say stuff like, um, we're going to go get, you know, you go get around some people and they don't understand your experiences. Um, we go and we see stuff happening in the world, the economy, you know, where people are talking about everything that's happening. Life is going to happen. But what's going to happen to your dream? Don't let life keep taking you a step backwards. Guys, take a step forward and get this book done, okay? So, you have two choices. You can get started today, or you can get started tomorrow. I promise you, um, this is where we continue to grow in our university, in our uh and as we have more success stories, we're going to continue to have more growth. And the thing is this, don't be the person 12 months from now saying, man, you know, I should have gotten started. Or I saw her when she first launched her book or when she first announced it, announced it. Guys, get yourself started. Be part of this movement. Join the movement that is, that is changing lives all around the world. Now. You can get started now, or you can get started later. But I promise you, this um, getting started today is going to get you all those incredible bonuses for you. You know, we're gonna get all those incredible bo yeah. we're gonna get all those incredible bonuses to you. We're going to teach you. We're going to make uh, sure that your that you you know your investment works for you. Um, let us show you how to start making money smart and start making money today. Okay, make your investment and let us show you how to start making money today. So you don't have to wait for tomorrow, but this is the deal. You have to be willing to roll up your sleeves. You can't play around with this. This is a re this is real deal Holyfield. People are making money with this. Now, I look forward to working with you. Again, if you enroll today, not only are you getting these incredible packages, we're going to be able to edit your book, we're going to be able to format the book for you. We're going to create your cover. We're going to literally publish your book for you because you simply took advantage um, and saw the information. You said, you know what? I'm going to get started. This is not something I want to play around with. It's time for me to, um, to take my journey and tell my story. It's time for me to share my experiences. It's time for me to have impact to the masses. So enroll yourself today get started today. Guys, it has been incredible being here with you. Okay. I thank you for taking the time to share this, take the, take, take time and share this time with me. We at the System Mastery are loving what we do. Um, that is why we are Vision Impact Partners. If you are going to get started today, then please go ahead and get started today. We really look forward to working with you. Don't hesitate. It's never going to be the perfect time to do something. That's why things don't ever get done. Um, but it's time that you do take a stance and do something so that you never have that uncomfortable moment that you wish that you never did get it done. All right. But it has been a privilege and a pleasure. And I look forward to working with you soon. Congratulations on making it to the end. The fact that you are here tells me a lot about you already. Good day. God bless. Talk to you soon.